Gunther Blumentritt, born on February 10, 1892, in Munich, Germany, left an indelible mark on the course of World War II. A distinguished officer who served on multiple fronts and played a pivotal role in key military operations, Blumentritt's career offers a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of wartime leadership and decision-making. Personal Life and Early Career Blumentritt came from a privileged background as the son of Gunther Blumentritt, a prominent town planner and privy councillor in Munich, and Lena Ruckart. In 1920, he married Mathilde Skolmeyer, and their union lasted for an impressive 47 years. This enduring partnership was a testament to his character and values. Unlike some of his contemporaries, Blumentritt was Bavarian and Catholic a stark contrast to the Prussian and Protestant background of his longtime commander, Gold von Rundstedt. Blumentritt was known for his friendly and talkative demeanor, diplomacy skills, and meticulous attention to detail. These qualities made him an excellent staff officer and complemented Rundstedt's leadership style. Early Military Career Blumentritt's military journey began in 1911 when he joined the Imperial German Army. He participated in World War I as a lieutenant, primarily on the Eastern Front in Prussia. His experiences on the Eastern Front instilled in him a deep respect for Russian soldiers, whom he regarded as formidable opponents. He appreciated their mastery of defensive tactics, night operations, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. After the war, during the interwar period, Blumentritt served in various roles including company leader in the 3rd Thuringian Infantry Regiment No. 71 and as a staff officer. He continued to rise through the ranks, eventually attaining the position of Oberst in October 1938. Second World War, German Invasions Blumentritt's significance during World War II became evident as he played a crucial role in planning and executing major German invasions. In 1939, he submitted the working plan for the German invasion of Poland, known as Fall Weiss, Case White, which was executed with minimal alterations. In 1940, Blumentritt, as the operations officer of Army Group A, contributed to the planning and execution of the invasion of France, known as Sichelschnitt or the Manstein Plan. The remarkable success of the German Blitzkrieg in France was marred by the controversial decision to halt the advance on British and French forces at Dunkirk, following Adolf Hitler's orders. Blumentritt was also involved in preparations for the invasion of Great Britain, known as Operation Sea Lion. Despite assisting with the plan's details and exercises, he doubted its feasibility and believed that Hitler did not intend to carry it out. In 1941, Blumentritt served as Chief of Staff of the Fourth Army and was promoted to the rank of General. He participated in the planning and operation of the German invasion of the Soviet Union, displaying a deep understanding of the Russian opponent's strengths and weaknesses. Normandy and the July Plot In September 1942, Blumentritt assumed the role of Chief of Staff to Gerd von Rundstedt, the overall commander of German forces in the West, OB West. He was responsible for planning the defense of France against Allied invasion. He expressed concern about the depletion of German forces along the Atlantic Wall due to ongoing Eastern Front operations. During the Normandy invasion in 1944, Blumentritt and Rundstedt were taken by surprise by the landings on the Cherbourg Peninsula. He highlighted that the disposition was more suited for coast protection than defense, as they did not anticipate a landing on the west side of the Cherbourg Peninsula. Blumentritt's involvement in the July 1944 conspiracy to assassinate Hitler led to his removal from his position as chief of staff under Kluger. However, he survived the purge because Hitler did not believe him to be guilty and even awarded him the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross for his services. Combat Command and German Surrender Later in the war, Blumentritt transitioned from a staff officer to a field commander. He commanded Corps Group Blumentritt, which consisted of the 12 SS Army Corps. Blumentritt was tasked with defending the Siegfried Line and later faced challenges during the British Operation Blackcock. 
As the war reached its conclusion, Bloemantritt assumed command of the 25th Army in the Netherlands, where he attempted to hold the country as a fortress. His accurate prediction of Allied movements was hampered by Hitler's refusal to evacuate the country, resulting in German forces falling into Allied hands without major resistance. In early May 1945, Blumentritt acted as an emissary to General Montgomery for the surrender of German forces in the Northwest, marking the end of his military career. Legacy and post-war contributions After the war, Blumentritt disagreed with the Allies' strategy in the West and believed that a more concentrated armored assault by the Anglo-Canadian 21st Army Group could have hastened the war's end in 1944. Following the war, Blumentritt contributed to the rearmament of Germany during the Cold War and the development of the modern German army. His experiences and insights from World War II played a valuable role in shaping post-war military policies. Gunther Blumentritt's military career is a complex tapestry of service, strategy, and diplomacy. He navigated the tumultuous waters of World War II, leaving an indelible mark on both the battlefield and the post-war era, where his expertise continued to be sought after. His legacy serves as a testament to the intricacies of leadership during one of the most challenging periods in modern history. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.